This video is brought to you by Elmer's Products. Kaka, kaka. Hey everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own paper mask. I'm completely awestruck by the things people create from paper, falling particularly in love with Philip Valdez's work. His deer mask and these masks by Flurry and Salk are the inspiration for today's how-to. I've made plaster wrap masks several times, but they can be a little too bulky. And I love paper mache, but I really wanted to do something a bit more intricate and detailed. For the mask I'm making today, I'm gonna use an array of colors so it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. But to get the effect of the inspiration mask, I would stick with all white. All right, to get started, you need some cardstock and a razor edge. First, we're gonna create some feathers. Use your razor to cut an S shape into your paper, then follow and cut along that first cut connecting the ends, essentially cutting out a skinny S. Now use your fancy craft bond glue stick and apply glue to one side of the S. Then stick it right back onto the paper. Use that S as a guide for cutting a larger S shape around it. Starting from the top of the S, cut diagonal notches all the way down both sides of the spine. Now cut little slits all the way down both sides. And you have yourself a feather. Make sure to ruffle it up a bit. You can actually use that first S shape as a guide to create your feathers opposite. You can use that basic technique to create many different shapes and sizes of feathers. Next you're gonna fold a 12 inch by 12 inch sheet of cardstock in half and cut a slit on a diagonal starting from the fold. Then cut about four inches up from where your last cut ended, going across to the other side. Next, round out the side, trimming off more if you need to. Use your razor to cut eye holes and open it up. Yay, mask! Trace that mask onto your remaining piece of cardstock and cut another mask out. Then you're gonna cut two equal lengths of ribbon. Or if you're not a ribbon person, use some strong string of some sort and use your craft bond tacky glue to glue the ends to the second mask you cut out. Then brush tacky glue all over that mask piece and place your first mask piece on top. The next process is totally not necessary, but it does create a really nice texture. Using a regular pair of scissors, cut a bunch of little U-shapes out, a bunch. Then very patiently glue them one by one, row by row onto your mask. Then go and try to find one of the eye holes you cut out before and trace around it. Then create whatever eye shape you want around that. Cut out the eye hole just a little inside of the circle to ensure coverage on your mask. Now cut the whole thing out and use that as a template to create another one. Glue those shapes onto your mask like so. This would actually be a pretty awesome mask on its own. All right, now you're gonna strategically glue all your feathers onto the mask one at a time by applying glue to the underside spine of each feather. The glue actually remains pretty flexible when it's all the way dry, so don't worry about gluing on that fold right there. But make sure to let it dry overnight before testing that theory. Now you've got yourself a fancy paper mask. There's so many ways to use the techniques in this video to create something completely different. Make it your own. 